Sojourner Truth was an abolitionist and women's rights activist who had and continues to have a massive impact on United States society, which is why she deserves a place on the APUSH Wall of Fame. Section 1. Early Life Born Isabella Baumfrey in Swartikill, New York in 1797, Truth was raised in slavery. She was one of 12 children born to her parents, James and Elizabeth Baumfrey, and was taken from her family and sold to another slave owner at just nine years of age. She later married a man named Thomas, who was also enslaved. Together, they had five children, one of whom passed away as a toddler. Now, to backtrack a little, the process of abolishing slavery in New York had begun two years after Truth's birth in 1799. Her owner, a man named John Dumont, had promised to free her if she did well. He changed his mind, however, claiming that a hand injury had made her less productive. Truth was furious, and in late 1826 escaped to freedom with her youngest daughter, Sophia. For one year, she boarded with a white family who financially supported her and her daughter. But all was not well. Truth had to leave behind her other children because, according to the New York Emancipation Laws, they had to stay enslaved until their 20s out of respect for their owners. In addition, Truth found out that John Dumont, her former owner, had illegally sold her five-year-old son, Peter, to a man in Alabama. Truth filed a lawsuit against Dumont in an effort to retrieve her child from his abusers. Against all the odds, she won the case and got her son back. She was the first black woman ever to go to court against a white man and win. Now, this wasn't the last time she defied the odds in a court case either. After a white couple tried to implicate her in the murder of a prominent religious leader, she sued them for slander and won yet again. Section 2. Activism after her two victories, Truth had a profound religious experience and, in 1829, converted to Christianity. This was a hugely important moment in her life, and she changed her name from Isabella Baumfrey to Sojourner Truth, because she had had a vision in which God called on her to preach the truth. From this point on, she devoted her life to the abolitionist and women's rights movements. Truth quickly established a name for herself as a powerful speaker and was soon speaking to thousands of people on the topics of human rights and slavery alongside the likes of Harriet Tubman and Frederick Douglass. Her most famous speech, titled Ain't I a Woman, was delivered with no preparation in 1851. In it, she calls for equal rights for all women, regardless of race. Her reform efforts don't end here. In addition to speaking out against slavery and campaigning for women's rights, Truth also protested capital punishment, pushed for prison reform, and in the 1860s traveled around the country to recruit black troops to the Union Army during the Civil War. Her words touched the hearts of many, including one very important historical figure. In 1864, Truth met with President Abraham Lincoln. She published her memoir, The Narrative of Sojourner Truth, a Northern Slave, in 1850, and used the proceeds to pay off the mortgage of a close friend. Truth continued to speak out against injustice up until her death in 1883 at the age of 86. Section 3. Legacy Sojourner Truth was a compassionate and powerful speaker who is regarded today as one of the most important figures in the anti-slavery movement. This is due to her influential speeches and tireless contributions to numerous reform movements. She devoted her entire life to the radical idea that all people, regardless of race, gender, sexual orientation, or social standing, deserve basic human rights. If we all could be more like Sojourner Truth in our daily lives, the world would be a better, kinder place in which to live. That is why she deserves a place on the A Push Wall of Fame. Thank you.